Good morning, my dear students. How are you today? Our lesson is lesson four five, which is isosceles and equilateral triangles. First, we need to know what is the meaning of isosceles triangle and equilateral triangle. Isosceles triangle, it's a triangle that has only two sides are equal in length. If you have a triangle has two sides are equal in length, so it's called isosceles triangle. Like this example, triangle ABC, you have AB equals AC, so this triangle is isosceles because we have two sides equal in length. The two sides which are equal are called legs, are called leg. So this is the first leg and this is the second leg and the two angles here are called base angles because this side is base and this is base angle and also C is base angle. What about A? A is called the vertex angle. A is called the vertex angle. A is called the vertex angle. So the isosceles triangle has two legs and one base side. What about the equilateral triangle? Equilateral triangle, the three sides are equal in length. The three sides are equal in length, like that. This side equals this side equals this side. And also in the equilateral triangle, the three angles are equal in measure. Each one will be 60 degrees. So in the equilateral triangle, each angle inside it is 60 degrees. Let's start our theorem. Our theorem is theorem 4-3, isosceles triangle theorem. Here, if AC, AC congruent to BC, then this is isosceles triangle because two sides are equal in length. What we are going to get? We are going to get that angle A is congruent to angle B. Why? Because AC is congruent to BC. The triangle is called ABC, right? Triangle is called ABC. Here you have AC congruent to BC. AC, which letter is left from the triangle ABC? We still have C, so angle, sorry, we have B. We have A and C and B, so angle B congruent to BC which letter is isn't right which letter we didn't write from the triangle ABC we wrote B and C so you have A is remained so AC the left letter is B BC the left letter is A so angle A is congruent to angle B the theorem is if two sides of a triangle are congruent, if two sides of a triangle are congruent, then the angles opposite to those sides are congruent. The angles opposite to those sides are congruent. Here we have the side AC congruent to the side BC. Which angle opposite to AC? Angle B, because we don't have letter B here. Which angle is opposite to BC? Angle A. So angle A is congruent to angle B. Again, let's see the exercise. We have another theorem, theorem 4-4. Four, four. Here the theorem, if angle A is congruent to angle B, 
according to this triangle, the triangle is A, B, C. Here we have angle congruent to angle. So we are going to get the side congruent to a side. Side, we need two letters. Here, angle A, opposite to which letter? B and C, yes. So the side B, C is congruent. Here, angle B, opposite to which side? Angle B cancel B, you will get AC. So BC, the side BC, congruent to the side AC. But here we have the converse. If angle A is congruent to angle B, two angles are congruent, so the opposite sides are congruent also. Angle A, its opposite sides cancel A, you have, will have BC. Angle B, the opposite side cancel B, you will get AC. So if two angles of a triangle are congruent, then the sides opposite those angles are congruent. Let's start with problem number one. Using the isosceles triangle theorem, is AB congruent to CB? Explain. We need to ask this question. Is AB congruent to CB, let's check. In this triangle, the small one, DAE, triangle DAE. In this triangle, we have DE congruent to DA because they have the same dash. We have DE congruent to DA. So what we are going to get, yes, cancel DE. So angle A is congruent here, DA, which angle it's opposite, DA angle E, congruent to angle E, but you have to say it like that, angle DEA, because we need this angle, angle DEA. So this angle, and this angle are congruent. Now, we have angle A congruent to angle C. We have angle A congruent to angle C. Angle A is congruent to angle C. Which side opposite to angle A? Yes, in triangle ABC. Triangle is A, B, C. The opposite side to angle A, cancel A, you will get B, C. So side B, C is congruent to angle C. The opposite side, cancel C. The opposite side will be A, B. So yes, A, B is congruent to C, B. The next one is angle A congruent to angle D, E, A? Yes, we already answered this question here. Why? In triangle D, E, A. We have D, E congruent to D, A. D, E is congruent to D, A. And which angle opposite to D, E? According to the triangle, DE, cancel DE, you will get A. So angle A is congruent, DA, you will still have E, to congruent to angle, DEA. Another exercise. Here we have a triangle TRS, and inside it a lot of triangles. The question is, is angle WVS congruent to angle S? So we are going to use this triangle, the small one. So in triangle WVS. In this triangle, you have WV is congruent to WS. 
So what is the opposite angle to WV? Cancel W and V, you will get S. So angle S is congruent to. What is the opposite side to WS? Cancel W and the S in the triangle, you will get V. V, you have to say it like that. W, V, S, V in the middle. So angle W, V, S. So yes, they are congruent. Here, is TR congruent to TS? TR and TS in the triangle big, the biggest triangle TRS. So we are going to use triangle TRS. In triangle TRS, we have angle R is congruent to angle S. We have angle R congruent to angle S. So what is the opposite side to angle R? Cancel the letter R, you will get T and S. Congruent. Angle S, what is the opposite side to angle S? Cancel the letter S, you will get TR. So yes, TS is congruent to TR. The next exercise, complete each statement. We have a shape like that. VT, VT is congruent to what? Congruent to VX. Why? Because angle T is congruent to angle X. So VT is congruent to VX. UT, UT. UT congruent to what? UT will be congruent to UW. Why? Because we have angle T is congruent to angle U, W, T. This angle is congruent to this angle. So this side will be congruent to this side. So U, T will congruent to U, W. V, U, V, U is congruent to what? V, U is congruent to V U sorry, V U will congruent to V Y. Why? V U will congruent to V Y. Because we have V T congruent to V X, and U T is congruent to Y X. So the rest is congruent to the rest. V U congruent to V Y. Angle V Y U. Angle V Y U. This angle will congruent to angle V U Y. This angle will congruent to this angle because we have this side is congruent to this side. So it will be to angle V U. Why? I hope you understand. I understood the lesson. Uh, please study the rule well, and don't forget your online assignment. Have a nice day. Thank you.